We are now recording. Godzilla! Hi. Lover of Toku! Godzilla! What the fuck? Collectors of all time! All right, Garb. God uh, damn it. Uh, I'm sort of working on my own theme song over here. Uh huh. But I'm thinking of going, like, like you know, Green Castle has helped me out with it. We thought, well, why don't we go Transformers, but it's Godzilla because it's the same syllables. <sighs> It's go- it's gonna be pretty cool with my fake electric guitar in my hand. Oh, okay. So uh, should I uh, cue the roll call since I haven't done yeah. that in a while? Cue the roll call, baby. We are live. Mike, Zenkai Gun, Connect, Loading, Broadcast. Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster? Super Ichi! Loud and Impulsive! Greycaster! Late! Illuminating the Togroopers! Goldcaster Garza! A Spark of Courage! The Power of Dreams! Orangecaster! Global Soft Perka! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! On air! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, episode 334. Episode Altaria. My well, girlfriend's here and on point. favorite Pokemon of all time. What's oh, Altaria? The evolution uh, of Bobby. Big fluffy cloud with a bird head sticking out of it. Oh, the it's thing I... Dragon oh, the, the thing Somehow I... a dragon. The, the thing I need 400 candies for in Pokemon Go. And then when Mega Altaria was announced, literally my girlfriend freaking lost her shit. Yes, yes, you like, all oh shared the shit last week, even though it wasn't Altaria's episode. Oh, it was it was the smaller one. Swablu. Swablu. The blue blue. Cool. So anyways, we are Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, where we talk about Common Rider Supa Sentai. And another feature topic, which is usually revolving around tokusatsu. But you forgot yeah, to say what we are. We're a group of Altarias who get together. Really. I was about to say, we're a bunch of fluffy clouds with dragon heads sticking out of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? If you're tuning in to us for the first time, God help you, because clearly we have our shit together this week. Also, my yep. audio is echoing. Who, who doesn't have earbuds in? I think Not it's me. Emily. Emily? Hi. No, I, I'm just speaking right into it. Oh. I, I'm saying my audio is echoing out of yours. Out of your oh. mic. How about now? Uh, testing. Still happening. I don't hear it. I don't hear it either. Anyways, whatever. Hi. So this week we're talking about Car Saber Episode 27, Zenkaiju Episode 3, and for our special feature topic we're talking about the Spada Retsuden and the Blades Retsuden, which were pretty mad. Okay, first <laughs> off, that's Common Rider Saber in Kikai Sentai Zenkaiju. Eh. Yeah. Alright, let's get into Saber. Woo! <laughs> This episode was fucking awesome. This is Ooh. the most laser focused, well put together, emotional, and just mind blowing episode the show's had so far. You know, I've not seen really, an episode really so episode. focused. This episode was so great that I couldn't just do one face of the week. I had to do three faces of the week. And for me, my this episode is so great is that I told someone who doesn't watch Common Rider about what happened in it just because it was so touching. Um, so the first face of the week I got is good old, uh, leggy old, looking all, uh, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, which I gotta say, that book he got, fucking awesome. <laughs> and you know they're gonna release toys of all three of them. I, I actually said that his super form wasn't, like, a writer suit. That would have been great. Common Rider leggy old. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see a fucking Common Rider leggy old Zuos in stories at some point, I'm sure. So- the second face of the week I got was uh, Toma, you know, s- constantly being set on fire by Primitive Dragon. Yep. 
And then the final face, because I saw this last minute and just fucking died laughing at it because it was just so funny. Castle <laughs> <laughs> with the little boy, and he's just smiling like I'm happy now. <laughs> Right, it looks like he's just he's just he's just being like he's this big. Okay, Lane, you gotta call him by his real name. The boy or boy in the dream. Okay. Is no, that... no, no joke. That's what he's casted as. Oh, okay. Boy in the dream. He doesn't even have a name. I just but it was call... primitive, primitive dragon. dragon. Yeah, no, it's primitive dragon. I'm just gonna call him primitive boy. Jeez, <laughs> he's Jeez, primitive boy. <laughs> Primitive boy. You know what? Actually, he kind of does look like G when he was a kid. Yeah, he does look like Riku a bit. A little bit. Oh, so I caught up on Saber this week. Yeah, you did. Uh, Ichi was with me when 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 I watched it. It was true. And uh, can can I just ask for one thing? Uh huh. Can I have a smoke? Because I wasn't expecting Comrade Saber to fuck me that hard. (laughs) Was it good? Uh, Just, uh... just like. I was there when he realized Kento's new objective. Where? What? Because I'm like, okay, it's probably going to be three episodes of Primitive probably being berserk. And then, oh, hey, Kento's here. And Ke- <laughs> Oh. So oh. I don't always look at the notes that Ichi writes for the episodes, but those, when I decide to, I always see this one note that just fucking kills me. Just... <laughs> Tomo loses his hat, but still has it on in his mind. Yeah, no, that was I noticed that because like when oh he's my in li- God, you're right. when he's in liberation doing the, the no, trying to talk no. to the boy liberation liberation yeah. he his hat falls off halfway through his attempts, but he still has the hat on when he goes inside his brain to talk to the boy. So his hat is just part of his soul, I guess. It's just a cognition hat. No, it's like soul. <laughs> It's like the yeah, movie Soul. You lose your hat when, yeah. You lose your okay, hat again, want... you lose your hat for real. <laughs> Toma. His hat is the source of his power. Toma. Wait, someone bring, back, someone bring back that picture of Saber with a hat on. Ken... <laughs> oh, Toma, funny. Toma, Toma. Kento will love you with or without your hat. <laughs> no, I need the hat. That's my thing. But, but, but we can't go to, but we can't go to Saber. We can't go to Sword Camp together without my hat. <laughs> Sword camp. And then Rick Toro's Buzz Lightyear and I'm like, <laughs> you guys will be hanging out with all those shives. They're Kaguya. called sheaves, Sword Ren Taro. Kaguya. I need you to get ready with your awesome screenshot skills. So we could we got a flashback of seeing like the original humans that went to Wonderworld and we got to see like, you know, Leggy Storius and Zeus and they're they're all happy and they're all like, We love being humans. Oh man, yeah, we're great, we're best buds. <laughs> then they just turn then, over and we see Tassel and oh, just <laughs> I, I that outfit he was wearing I wasn't expecting him to still have like the green hair and the mustache and I just oh, no. I, I couldn't to, stop yeah, laughing I thought it was so silly I was like oh no he still looks like had, that <laughs> he's always looked had... like that hold on you're all talking at the same time Emily what were you saying I was just saying from from the picture we know he had green hair, but oh, I man. also wasn't expecting him to have the glasses and the mustache. Oh, no. I was absolutely expecting him to look exactly the same. I don't know why he wouldn't. He, he looks no, like you know why? Because Jesus. No, 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 no. Why? Because the man used to go by Victor. <laughs> don't so, dead name uh, him. No, 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 no. I'm using it as an example. So, like. <laughs> just <laughs> so stupid but like so i figured like you know oh he looked different when he was victor and because he wanted to like be a new identity and refer to himself as tassel he's like you know what i'm gonna grow my hair out dye it green oh i'm gonna put some blush on my cheeks and i'm gonna grow a mustache that'll show him that'll show that logos character no we saw we saw this wallpaper like this art drawing of the five of them all standing there like forever ago and we saw him with the green hair there so i knew tassel would look exactly the same oh i didn't need you to do anything kage i just wanted you to thank you decker i just wanted that, yeah, that he, he tried to forward. he tried to pull a clark kent and he disguised himself by putting on a hat and glasses oh but i just i oh, saw so that and i was like come on <laughs> i 
we'll just say scroll this up a bit so that we can make sure that we can still hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. So yes, we 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 start the episode by seeing Sorius using some sort of forbidden spell on Legiel. He's adding more pages to his book. Yeah. As I think that's what he said. Or yeah, something. that is what he said. Yeah. And someone on Facebook posited it as a in a very interesting way. So because he's advancing Legiel's story by adding more pages, he's bringing him to the climax of his inner story, which means that he's reached the end and there's nothing left beyond it. And oh. that's why he died. That actually makes perfect sense. Right? Mind After the climax, the action just falls from that point. This, this show so, has a lot of really clever subtext that sometimes... References to plot, plot formatting, yeah. And a, and, a, and a bunch of us thought... We, we thought Zeus was going to be the first one to go. Yeah. Because, like, I thought... Because, you know what? Be, Zeus being the way he is, I thought he would be kind of like the one who was all like, Rawr! Saber! I gotta kill Saber! Rawr! I wasn't but, actually expecting Legio to be like that... Like, yeah, so Le Legio that. just got like real life angry because Primitive Dragon kicked his shit in. Also, apparently... And proceeded to kick his shit in. <laughs> also, they're apparently both based on like... Apparently the slot that Saber uses for his belt. Is yeah, the, the three of them c correspond to Saber, Blades, and Espada's like, primary book slot. Yeah, so apparently that's why he has like a huge thing with Saber, because they use like, this That's thing. like a behind-the-scenes reason, but it's the main reason Legiel's angry at Saber is because Primitive Dragon kicked his ass. Twice. Oh, so yeah, Rintaro will beat Zua, Zuas, and Storius will I'm guessing that it's going to happen when his ugly new form debuts. <laughs> Oh, well. Wait, wait to get, wait till we see proper scans to get like a full opinion. So, so tomorrow, yeah, yeah. We're, it's probably gonna be t by the time we, this episode goes out, we'll have scans. Yep, that's how it always go. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Storius is not gonna be the final boss. It's gonna be disaster. But he's too busy on Twitter taking wildlife photos. <laughs> No, but disaster is more important to the story than they're letting on. Name, they know it. Name five things he's done in the show. Outside of fighting Kenzon. <laughs> now you've lost me. <laughs> uh, he fought Kenzon. Fought nope, Kenzon. Nope, that doesn't count. Uh, in, a, in the Resident special, he fought Kenzon and then was like, oh, you should be one of us. And he fought, he fought Kenzon and he did that. He fought Buster. He fought Saber. He fought yeah. <laughs> okay, name something he did that didn't involve fighting. He, he tried to take the caliber powers, but then they went away. He's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay, anyway. So, anyways, uh, bla I almost call him Blaster. Freaking <laughs> Slash. Buster Blast. and Blaster. <laughs> Buster and Blaster. David Buster. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, Slash is, on, like, he is. Yep, Susan is dead. Out of commission, that's it. Wait, out. Yes. Okay. Yes, you're correct. A or OFK? No. <laughs> OFC. Commission starts with a C. OnlyFans content? <laughs> no. Wait, wait, slash wait. OnlyFans? <laughs> so he can't transform into Slash for now. For now. But, you know, because fucking... We totally didn't see him in a spy shot. We totally didn't see him on the top of the parking garage. Getting his ass kicked. What? So yeah, yeah, we they go on about so they talk in the sort of logo space about how seeing the future is apparently one of Ankoku Ken Kuriyami's secret powers. Yeah, but the sword of shadows can like make you become Griffin from Men in Black. <laughs> um, I don't know it, what that has to do with shadows though. Wouldn't that be more of something a sword of light should do? I don't know. The sword of know. light and darkness are sort of like created as opposites of each other, as we've seen. So that means That's whatever true. the sword of darkness can do, the sword of light can't do. Anything you can do, I can do shitty. <laughs> anything you can do, do I can't. <laughs> no, you can't. No, I can't. <laughs> no, you can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they just they decide to focus. All right, all right, Kento's a problem. Caliber's a problem. We need to focus on solving primitive dragon first. Um, so Tomo goes into liberation to talk to the boy and repeatedly gets his face burned off. Yeah, he turns in, and then he does turn into the dragon form as well. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Which I like yeah. to call the and... hyperbolic rider chamber. So then we realize this, the, the real truth. 
Primitive Dragon isn't sad because he wants to destroy everything. He's sad because he doesn't have any friends because all of his friends died. You they were literally... either everyone who feared dragons either it wasn't really clear, but it said they were either um like forced to leave or killed. The idea so now is he was humans alone. <laughs> forced to leave. The idea yeah, is that humans and dragons used to live together and then uh humanity became scared of the dragons and started hunting them and killing them. So basically it's the plot of Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. No, it's, no Every, it's everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, no, it's the plot of the finale of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Kind of is. Because um, at the end of How to Train Your Dragon 3, they're all like, okay, we gotta let the dragons go. Why? Because some act... It's basically the Dragon Ball Z thing of Kakura. It's like, people are just gonna keep coming after them. Let's just let them fuck off. <laughs> we'll live our own lives on this little tiny island. Ah, oh, shit, we should, probably should've... Yeah, also, it was Love hilarious how the primitive dragon in the little storybook flashbacks looked like a fucking cat. <laughs> he looks like a cat! He's so cute! He's so cute! Alright. Oh, he's so cute! But then what happens is... Oh, just real quick, it's just like, yeah, the, so humanity hunted the dragons to almost extinction. I bet you feel real bad now, everyone who's playing Monster Hunter Rise. Or bought the de or bought the movie Monster Hunter. Seriously, why did you go buy that? I I only capture. And this is where we see one of my favorite Toma moments in the entire show. Me too. He manages to put his life skill set as a novelist to an amazing use in this episode because the, the kid story feels doesn't end here; it continues. All the all show, he's been saying that he decides the ending of the story, and now he actually does it. He 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 basically tells the the primitive dragon boy that his friends are not dead; they they live on through the elements of nature. And also, I'm your friend now. And it shows brave dragon coming in to embrace him in the background in the illustration. And then primitive and elemental dragon DNA ditch evolve. So and then he becomes an, a form that looks even more like Vimon somehow than his previous form. Oh yeah, Elemental Dragon is totally flame Dramon. So what you're saying is... It was so the sweet. I, I just, I love that. How he says just like, the, the, the wind is calling you and the sky above is still there and they're all with you and I'm also with you too. I, I, I in complete and utter seriousness... I just think that that was an amazing way to approach the situation. That's why Toma is a great person. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. So no, like... Toma, Toma's been a fantastic protagonist. Like, he, he's so good. He's such a kind soul. So what you're saying is this is the climax of the movie Paranorman. <laughs> I don't oh. know. I've never seen Paranorman. Actually, a little bit, but, like, no. Not quite. I, I, I'm sorry. I... I'm I'm being a really big space cadet today, and it's weird. I'm I'm yeah, sorry. It's okay. Space cadet like that. But uh, so then as Buster, Psycho, and Blades have been basically tanking Legiel while Thomas sorts out this child in his head. Also, Rintaro comes in with his metal form. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, I don't know how many episodes it's been since we've seen him transitioning to Blades, but he finally did. I was like, fucking, thank you. And he you. did it off screen. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but yeah, so Toma wakes up with Elemental Dragon in his hand, and we get to see Elemental Primitive Dragon with full CG henshin, baby! I was expecting to hear the breakup, the breakup, do the do the power. <laughs> I don't see, I don't know if I want to reference the armor evolution theme or the DNA evolution theme, because they're two separate themes. For armor evolution, it's break up, and for DNA evolution, it's beat hit. <laughs> Wait, be hit? Beat hit. Oh, beat hit. As in hit the beat. Oh. Because you have to march through each other's rhythms to merge. Why not both? I will, I will say Elemental Dragon's cool, but... I like it better than Primitive Dragon. I like the helmet on, on Elemental Dragon. It's really nice. My, like my favorite part is that it does not... It no longer has those, like, teeth on it that were, like, very prominent on the Primitive Dragon helmet. Hmm. <laughs> Um, it is and a bit, yeah, he, it is a bit well, messier like in terms. Of, it is a bit messier in terms of the color scheme, but I get what they're doing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an eternal flame. Yeah, or elemental. 
and, 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 and because it's elemental, he has the powers of not only fire, but water, air, and earth. So, uh, get fucked, Blades, Kenzan, and Buster. So he's the Avatar. Yes. No, wow. he's Kamen Rider Wizard 2.0. Or that. And when everyone needed Saber the most, he vanished. Good. <laughs> hey, yeah, he is Wizard because it's also power based on shaking hands. Also Dragon. Also Dragon. Oh, 2.0 because two hands. <gasps> It's Wizard 2.0! <laughs> Wait, are we gonna get like a Wizard Saber crossover? That'd be cool. Oh, that would be dope. <laughs> well, yeah, because Wizard said please and Saber says thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I like when he pulls out the fucking bu- book. It's Wizard goes, 2.0. And it's Ryuki 3.0. <laughs> no, because I like when Saber's I like 5.0. 5.0, 50 favorite! Fuck! <laughs> no, because I like I like when writer gimmicks do that. Like I liked when the drive driver would say "nice drive." I liked when the lizard driver Obama would go, numerologist. Hey. I love that. I, I oh yeah, Sumi. I feel like that meme of just all the information. Pepe Silva. Yeah. <laughs> um and and uh, so yeah he he kills Legiel like all the way dead. Yeah, we oh, see, no. like, his face, and then he's like, yeah, you the, killed the, the, me. Like, Way to go, like, champ. What, what, what were we supposed to infer from that? That Legio's soul is at rest now? Like, who cares? Well, that's the it, thing. Like, he, like... he met... Oh, no, meant... he's... Yeah, no. yeah well, they okay. mentioned he was human once, and then he's like, fuck you, no, I'm, I'm Megiddo, that... and then he kind of has, like, a brain fart to be that like, That ah, is I was something human. I'm very curious about. So now I'm wondering if someone yeah, fucked with their forget, memories. Yeah, did they forget, or is it... A creature that took on his appearance or something? I... I'm i very curious to find out what's actually behind that. I feel... You know what? I feel like Storius was, like, dabbling into some power he didn't mean to, and then it turned him evil, and then he brainwashed Legio and Zeus into yeah, his cause. the way Storius is, I wouldn't be surprised if what happened to them was Storius's fault. He seems like the schemey type. That's why, like, that's why, like, both of them are like the rage monsters, and Storius is like the calm one. That's what you get with a bookmark face. Speaking of books, and we do so the same. Like, so when he uses elemental dragon, primitive dragon, uh huh, and he slots it in. I was so confused at first because I'm like, well, hang on, the elemental book's bigger than primitive dragon. It's thinner at the back. Yeah, it, but I'm like, but how does it like take its claw hand to grab the book? If it also has to open up. It opens first and yeah. then the hand clamps down. And that's why I realized I'm like, oh okay, the elemental book opens up first and then Primitive Dragon closes yeah. in. Yeah, You literally watch it happen in the CG engine. <laughs> and then there was a scene where like Rintaro like walks away and he just he just says he says, Toma, I've also now found my determination. And I'm just I, I'm just sitting there like Wait, what? Rintaro, what was it? What's your determination? Rintaro's about to go make a big boy decision. He's going, yeah, he's going to get major character development. Yeah. And also, Tassel finally introduces himself to Toma and says, thanks for saving the boy soul. And, and fucking uh, Toma's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Not the fuck? I wish he would have been like, connection. Yeah, it's like this is their first canonical meeting, even though Yuri and Tassel have talked plenty. <laughs> oh, so who are you? Oh, well, thank you for saving this guy, but you guys are fucked. <laughs> I've been narrating your whole fucking adventure, and I've, I've go- spoilers. It doesn't end well. <laughs> you guys are going down the bad timeline. Yeah. Luna would be very happy of you for saving this kid. You know Luna? Of course I know Luna. She was with She's us. She's in my basement. Okay. So, in all <laughs> honesty, I I I almost thought that was going to be the case or for a bit that Tassel has Luna. Here's no. my crazy but, thing about Luna. Tassel is Luna. No. I mean no. that. In all honesty, I also thought that for like maybe. No, no, no. We saw week. in that artwork that Luna was the girl in white who connected the yeah, walls, and Tassel was next to her. What yeah, I don't understand is it's if possible that that was Luna or it was another maiden with the same powers as Luna. That would explain my next question is like if if that was Luna, why is Luna suddenly a child? Reincarnation. Yeah, Maybe? I think it is a different person who like Luna is this has the same power set, but I don't know. Also, think since it, there have been multiple logoses, that is a possibility. Also, think yeah. of, think yeah, of... that makes perfect sense. 
also think of Deno. You know, all the main cast members ended up turning into kids. That was for behind the scenes reasons. Shut up. <laughs> Gar, one of them was for health reasons. Yeah, 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 sure. You keep saying that. She was in the hospital for years. Yeah, yeah, you keep talking about that. <laughs> they had time travel. Who says Who says Saber doesn't have time travel? Um, I can't it took Kento me years has to already. Out. I can't believe it took me years after <laughs> Deno to find out that that was, like, his niece the whole time. Yeah. Oh, is it? Well, yeah, I think it isn't it. Isn't it Yuto's daughter? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's Yuto and What's-Her-Face's daughter. Irie. Also, Irie. I'll definitely say this. That fight was sort of anticlimactic between Saber and, Le- and Legiel. I liked it. I, it made me realize how much I enjoy the sword fighting in this show. I thought it was very lackluster a bit. Maybe it was just from the directing, but then again, it's I think it lacked luster. And I'm just like, what? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. For, like... A send off to a villain. I feel like it could have been handled a bit. I mean, clearly Legio was comparatively inconsequential. I guess so. I mean, hell, name one thing he actually did throughout the show, besides from hating Saber. <laughs> yeah, you can't really name anything. Exactly, that's except my for, point. Except for the Gremlin thing that he did. Oh, the goblins. Yeah, the goblins. The goblins. Or goblins too, where they're or no, uh, or, or troll too. So. Next week, I'm very excited because what I asked for is coming true. Keto's kicking red shit in. Yeah! Red's Red's gonna get shit kicked finally, and it's gonna be amazing! I really hope he gets his next snap. Uh, No, I don't think he'll go Uh, that far. I think he'll just seal Hayate. Why did it? Kaiser. No, no, no snapping. Ren isn't a scheming evil asshole, he's just a douchebag. (laughs) There is a pretty big difference between those things. Yeah, I, I feel like Kento will just seal Hayate and walk off. What I would love to see is for us to get a flashback explaining why Ren has such a boner for Kento. Because none of that's been explained yet. We, we... He just looks up to him, that's all. If that's it, tell us. They haven't done that much yet. Yeah, I think it, I think it's just like it speaks for itself. It's like, oh, like, you know, when Kenzan was starting out or Kento was there to kind of, like, show him, like the way and then your audio is echoing through your speakers and your mic you might want to turn down your speakers or whatever you're listening to who you you your your audio the audio is echoing through your mic again how about now testing seems fine okay Seems fine for now all right so yeah and also debuting next week we get to see it's still happening emily uh, we get to see the final Seiken and the new rando southern base swordsman who uses it. I, I'm pissed off it's not Master Logos. Hey, for all we know, Logos will backstab this dude and take it. Logos has really his own it. sword. Maybe. No, but there's only, there's only ten of them. Oh, bullshit. It's fucking Kamen Rider. You're gonna milk the shit out of it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's a the number is actually in one sword. So, yeah. Saber's great. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the next episode. Cool. Any other closing thoughts? Nope. It's cool. great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm like I, I said from the very beginning when like you complained about episode six. I knew that Saber was going to get good eventually. We just need to give it time. Yep. All right. Take us in. Uh, Zenkai. <laughs> good effort. Can I say I'm kind of disappointed that we have our only female ranger of the season being an, an all ooh, ooh, I don't know I'm not confident in myself That kind of stereotype is really stale <laughs> I'm fine with it I mean I I understand how she feels so I can't say that I that I don't think that it's a way someone can feel but I also understand it being a personality that appears often in that role yeah at the same time maybe i've just been spoiled by too many powerful women in sentai for the last few years what are you yeah, sniggering no. at the way that you describe her now, just she like is so powerful she basically can summon anything when she's transformed 
I mean, she kind of reminded me of Raptor a lot. Me too. Raptor was but different. I mean, that, she was. She wasn't the same. The fact they're both robots, though. So. Okay, hold on. What were you saying, Gar? The way that you were describing her, made like just made it popped into my head that she's Benji Coon from Pro Z T videos. <laughs> Just, just give oh it, my like, god! Just wait no. until 50 episodes. <laughs> That's probably what's happening here. Um, I will say though, this episode showed for me that because, uh, like, I feel like out of the three episodes we've gotten so far, this one's the weakest of the three. Welcome to my point. Um, but uh, I will say, Gaon is my least favorite Zenkaiger. Oh god, yeah. No, because. So, he when, I first, when, I first saw Ga- when I first saw Gaon, I thought, no, 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 it's not because he's a reversed furry. I think that's, uh, actually, that's the part of him I like. The part of him I don't like is when he's being kind of, like, an asshole. Emily, you need to fix your sound issue. Emily, you need to fix your sound issue, please. I might have to leave, actually, then. Can you not turn your speakers down or put, down head- put on headphones? No, I can't. Let's just try and keep the audio down when you're not talking. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay, it's okay. Um, anyways, so, uh, as I was saying, um, because, like, when I first saw Gao on or whatever like that, I thought he was going to be kind of like, like, uh, Leo from Zoojer, because, like, Leo's my favorite yellow. But, nope. uh, no, like, because, like, again, I like, I like the, like, the reverse furry part of him, but just, like, then when, like, at one point where he's just kind of, like, Oh, I was just tagging along with this fortune teller stuff because, you know, Kaido was enjoying it. But now I'm like, I kind of don't give a shit and you're a shitty fortune teller. And I'm just like, dude, that's not yeah, cool, man. It feels like he's a, sort of teetering on the border between I like organic life and I'm legitimately racist towards my own race. Yeah, it's, it's, it's grating, it's not funny, and he needs to change real quick. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping the guy gets some fucking character development eventually. I feel not, like not right away, but eventually. Yes, right away. It's, I it's, do it's think that him old. learning that both types of life are equally good would be a good character development for him to have. Mm-hmm. Kind of hard when where he lived originally, it was ruled by a dictatorship. Didn't that didn't make everyone else in the team a fucking racist? Yeah, because everyone just went with it. Anyway, so yeah, Majine is apparently a fortune teller who is not accurate, but why... That no, 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 Majine! No, 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 Majine! No, 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 But she just enjoys being one, and... Yeah, yeah. it's it's more of a hobby for her, as she, yeah, as she stated, so... Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> there's a... And she blows up when fortune telling is put down in front of her oh yeah we'll get to that so they see on tv like a fortune telling program or like a horoscope it's like oh sagittarius you're all good you've been in the past but now you're fine no slip-ups walks outside immediately slips on all the ice this episode just becomes super sentai if it were in canada super sentai the ice level it's funny though i saw him going outside and slipping a mile away. Oh yeah. And I still found it funny anyways. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just making me think of two things. One. Wow, you can go see Super Sentai. On ice? That's the one. Oh my god. <laughs> and so number, number two, just reminded me of drama class in high school where my teacher made me do a prat fall for like fifteen minutes hurting my back. Oh no. Because the the end of the joke was that I walk outside and I slip on ice. That hurt my back for the rest of the day. Wow. Uh, um, so, I will forgive this episode for something, because I noticed, like, I get it. The monster of the week was an ice-based monster, and they wanted to go big, being like, oh, we're going to freeze the entire fucking city. So, of course, they have to, like, put them in front of a blue screen the whole time. The entire just fucking episode. Everywhere. 
So I can forgive them for that because what they were trying to do was this on a big scale and they had they were limited to what they could do. So I forgive them for that. I just got really fucking bored of them just literally sliding around the town on their asses. It was so funny. I love it. No, the How funniest. How were they able to do that on completely flat ground? <laughs> no. Zenkai the fun... power! The funniest though, and I hope Kaguya or Decker can get me a gif of it was just when fucking Majin just slides into the, the lineup shot where, like, and, the rest of them are standing. No, and the funny part, that one was actually funny because then it cuts to the wide shot and you see that she didn't slide it on the ice. She had a fucking sled. Yeah, no, she had a sled. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> I loved that they're all were sledding around and stuff. That was funny. Oh, yeah, so apparently uh, Majine and Ziran were neighbors back on their home planet. And this is the episode where we discover that I guess Kikainoids grow like people. Kikainoids are people. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be like not actually robots, but just very robot like. I'm like, do their robot parts grow in, with age gradually, or do they just have to swap out parts every now and then? Oh, like I don't in know. The, oh, like in the blue sky film ice, uh, yeah, in the ice age or the blue sky film robots. Yeah, robot. Is it is it like robots or are they like transformers? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. You missed the delivery. But making, making the, the baby's the, the fun, fun part. part. Yeah, I <laughs> My favorite joke in that whole film. <laughs> it, 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 it's like every couple of years they have to get a new body like it's a fucking console generation upgrade. Well, yeah, the the main character, Rodney or whatever like that, he got like he got like his like teen kit <laughs> in the mail when he could, when he was trying to go through puberty. Well, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, but it was Hammy Towns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, but like this show is so goddamn fun. I, I love I love, I love it, man. Those, yeah. uh, okay. She just looks no, like no. someone forced her to get no. on an amusement park ride. No, I'll say this. That was the first thing I saw. I didn't know anything about the whole ice thing. So just seeing that made me laugh my ass off. Just like, <laughs> sliding past them was just comedy gold. <laughs> no, my favorite Ben the whole episode is this episode's answer to the shooting the mooks meme. Oh. Yes. Instead, she almost shoots her own face off. I love how the music legit stopped. Yep. After she just did. The <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh, she killed the sound guy. <laughs> she killed the boom guy. I I can't remember exactly like what the 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 line was that Senkaiser says, but he like says something. He's like he's like yeah, I knew I knew the shit was gonna happen and like go right, and then it cuts to like the news lady like with the with the, the horoscope being like yeah, <laughs> that was it was so sudden, but I fucking loved it. Yeah, and yeah, she fucking like spills tears out of her face and they freeze. Yeah, they're like really like large tear explosion like. Very forceful. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying that. And so like when I saw that for a second, I thought she was crying change, but then I realized they're just gears. <laughs> oh man. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, so they they sled around looking for the Cory world, and they go to a fucking sauna, and I'm like, can robots go in saunas? Uh, sure. Yeah, that just uh, uh, more questions about the nature of the Kikai noise. Yeah, and then they go to a spook house. And then they go back to the tower for episode one. Yeah. And, and the they, they're like, wait, you're the bungee jumping guy. We don't want you here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just love that shot where, like, they're all talking and then Zeron just fucking gut punches gone. <laughs> yep. I can't remember um, what the conversation was about, but I just love that shot. Yeah, so, like, she goes around and, like, they end up, like, in a sauna, uh, escape room, like a haunted house escape room or something. Yeah, they're following her very not good fortune telling. And Gawon, like, the rest of them are scared, but Gawon looks over and it's like, oh, Ghost Chuan! And I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, good, even as a boner for dead humans. <laughs> oh, no, I, no, no. <laughs> I think that's called necrophilia. Yup! Is he a necrophilia cat? Necrophilia? <laughs> I I don't want to say it because he's not any of those things. But I was thinking necrophilia. <laughs> 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 
He's none of those. He's none of the above. No. Um, I, I also I also like that I also like that what the the general was like kind of giving the the boss man shit. And oh, the, the, like, we his, don't his need bird. these shitty gimmicks. Yeah, and his bird and his bird is just like <laughs> go Shut fuck up. yourself. Stay stay in fucking line, you piece of shit. And then he's just like. Fucking I'm gonna take this from a stupid fucking pet. I, okay. I honestly okay. have been wondering if, Baby the bird, fall down. if the bird's gonna be the final villain. I have I, a, I, have I a, hope to fucking god the bird is the fucking final villain. Oh my god. I think that would be a very interesting one. I want the bird to be the true villain of the show. Or, or That'd be like the, the bird ever. combines with the wall and that was that's what gives him his final body. Or just oh, maybe. the bird's the real mastermind behind everything. He's yeah, just like sitting yeah, there and biding that, his time. The... I want that. I want that so badly. Um, so there is a part where they get stuck on the ocean because uh, the ocean gets frozen over. So they use the Tokuger gear and they make themselves like a like a train. They do the Ranketsu <laughs> attack. It, it made me super happy because I like that their their roll call that they did was kind of like the Tokuger roll call. So I thought that was a, a nice little callback. Yep. I like the little joke about how it was like. You're gonna put the world into an ice age, the Kikainoids. What is that? What the fuck is it? No, no, it was it was it was Zen Kaiser who said that. Yeah, the human, yeah. the one person who should know what an ice age is. Uh, ice age. What's that? Know. And even the robots know what that is. That's interesting. <laughs> um. Also, they Isn't go back fun to the having a dumb male, a dumb leader ranger. <laughs> fuck, man. No, no. This is what Kaito... I knew we'd have to deal with. No, Kaito's a sweetheart. I love him. <laughs> Just hey, uh, please respect them because they're not dumb. None of them are dumb. None of them are necrophiliacs. None of that is. No. We're just no. being funny. Uh, let, being funny. They're not helping their cases. Let's just think of it this way. At least they didn't make the whole, I'm going to be the first person to do this thing. Every episode. Every fucking episode. Yeah, no. The series is young. Point. We'll see. I did though. They did go back to the tower from the first episode, and like the same cops, just like, oh no, not you again. He's like, no, no, I'm not bungee jumping this time. And this time he has a Kikinoid cop. So I was like, hell yeah, he's yep. like a robot cop. That's awesome. So yes, yeah, so we get to see Majine Henshin into uh, Zenkai Majine, and I will say that out of the Zenkai suits, I like this one. Though I notice when she turns into her giant form, which is the dragon, uh -huh. I notice there's so two. Cool. I notice there are two different shades of pink. Yeah, like there was like a bright pink, and then there was like a really dark pink that looked more like purple. Yes. Also, also when she was about to change into her dragon form, they zoomed in on her chest, and I was like, oh, "Okay, we don't need to do that, please." Because that's what we want, row boobs. <laughs> um, I will say though. I do like they that. Uh, I, no, I do like that though. That Zenkai Majin and Zenkai uh, Vroon, I'm assuming, like has like a male announcer voice. I think that's cool. Yeah, no, I noticed it was a different voice, especially since he pronounces it Zenkai Majinu. Zenkai Majinu. <laughs> I'm like, oh no! But so I liked warm. that. I actually thought the the Zero and Majin combo looked pretty all right. It looked pretty all right until you realize, oh, we're never going to see an actual suit of that. Yeah. Which is sort of sucks because it's just all CGI. Wait, Wait, which all, all, no, I'll admit, CGI has gotten better since episode one. And I personally think it's just because of the shading. Yeah. I will say, though, it's actually pretty... Because, like, I saw in the next week preview that they get both... Uh, both mechs and i'm like i'm like that's actually pretty cool that like they're a sentai team that already have like two mechs from the start <laughs> like that's cool i really yeah. like that the zords are in fact the rangers yep there are some seasons where it works somewhere it doesn't i mean magi ranger was one of the seasons that did that pretty well i think I really well, hope yeah, we get it like was a magical spell. Yeah. I really hope we get like a DVD special where like they they get to like you know how like the Zoo Oger Sentai special was a thing. Oh, where they and they got the like other sentais. characters. Yeah. yeah, so I want them to do it with like robot ranger characters. So like I want like Signal Man, Beat J Stag, um, yeah, Balance, like, Balance, like I Raptor. I think so, that'd so, be so, fucking hilarious. So, have it be all so, the ro so you want robots. Half the cast of Q Ranger. <laughs> yes, essentially. Balance Raptor Champ. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> okay, you want three key range. What was it? Well, you know what was really interesting that I don't know if we ever really touched on? They actively described the three of them as three different kinds of life. Champ was, they called him a robot. Raptor, they called her an android. And yep. Balance, they called him a mechanical life form. Yeah, so they he did, was like, yeah. They did specify that they were each a different thing. What's it? What's the difference between mechanical life form and robot? It's it's a bio biological creature whose body parts happen to be made of what mo other cultures would consider inorganic components. Oh, it's so just... like a transformer. Sure. Well, no, I would. I think and, trans... androids are robots that are meant to look human. Yeah. Uh, like and then a, cy a cyborg is a cybernetic organism. Like a mechanical life form, like balance. I think they have like organic pieces underneath the robot skin. Uh, okay, yeah, that so would make like, more sense. It's like a Terminator. Gross. Sure. Yeah. Uh, then you have a cyborg, which is like a human with robotic parts. Yeah. yeah. So. Speaking of yeah. which, I should probably start working on the metal April lineup. Yeah, maybe. Totally. <laughs> Um, yeah, April's next week. So yeah, we we get to see the the Majin dragon fly around, shoot shaved ice powers. We see Zero Majine. Oh yeah. Quick, someone boy. paint it green. Yeah. And I I like how even the Zenkaiser comments like a dino and a dragon. This is a dream combo. I'm like yeah, I guess. Just walk over a dragon I, ranger. She like made them shoes so they wouldn't slip <laughs> around. I yeah. thought it was super funny though when like uh, Gaon and Julian have to transform, like combine again. And they're like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" I don't want to do this. <laughs> so, I also watched episode two uh -huh. uh, today. I fucking love their battle theme. It's good. I, and I think it's mostly because it's the two singers that did the Go Ranger opening ending. Do you like yeah. the Do you like the baseball stadium? <laughs> I have to question why a baseball stadium. Yeah, why? Uh, well, baseball Go Ranger stadium? reference, isn't it? It's cool though. That's what I assume. No, it's just. No, but they fought like a baseball monster, and like there was that ep there was that one episode of um, I can't remember which which Sentai it was, but they did a thing where like they they did a Go Ranger focused episode, and they fought like the baseball guy in a baseball. That was the Go stadium. That was the Go Kaiger movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that so that, one that, that, time. <laughs> That's okay, but, the, but but they, but their attacks are with balls and uh, stuff like that. I, I think it's just because Japan loves baseball. That is true. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what? No, it's because of uh, Dynaman. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, now yeah, I wonder not... why base? Why baseball stadium? Because Japan loves baseball. Uh, I guess. I think, I think that's part of it. I guess that's the closest we're gonna get because baseball. Or maybe it's like I don't know. Can Chuck out? Gar, if anyone can figure it out, it's you with that, your awesome research that powers. That is true. I figured out where they did the ending dance to Saber today. <laughs> it took oh. me half an hour. Cool. It was, it's a museum, actually. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the episode, we see Varun reporting to Ijirude and then Majine's fortune telling, the glasses will come to you. Guys, we gotta go to the movie theaters to see something in 3D. We need glasses. <laughs> I I am looking forward to Vroon very much. I kind yeah, of yeah. He am. seems he seems great. He's a blockhead. <laughs> only, only literally, not figuratively. Now he turns also, into Optimus Prime. Also, also we... he has the, also he has the coolest form out of the Kikinoids. That's it. We're gonna call him what Optimus Prime was before he was Optimus Prime. Orion Pax, but since he's a blockhead, Orion Box. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Orion Box for now on. There's Rune, so Orion Box. I'm wondering what his variation on the shoot a mook gag is going to be, and I'm thinking he'll actually shoot himself. I feel like he's gonna shoot himself in the foot. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's because gonna in shoot the eye himself in the foot. Yeah. In the eye catcher, you always see him fucking fall on his face. Yeah. So. Oh, He's that's... very clumsy. We know that. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, Magine is voiced by Rika from SSSSS Gridman. Okay. Oh, interesting. Cool. Neat. I mean, Galan's voiced by Todoroki, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah fun the common Rider or the hero? Yes. <laughs> uh, watch oh. My Hero Season 5 starting tomorrow. Yes. Oh, wow. Also, holy shit, did they upgrade their freaking budget for the Zord fights? Oh, yeah. 
Like they look amazing. It won't last. It probably won't last, but it's still <laughs> amazing. Says you. All right, back to Saber. Thank you guys for having me on the show. Are you, are okay. you there? Oh yeah, she yeah. she didn't watch it, so. Right. Yeah, I unfortunately couldn't watch. I'm sorry about the uh, mic thing. I'll try to fix that. All right. I'll just um, get some headphones. That's all. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. I hope I didn't talk too much or too little or space out or anything. What are you comfortable fine. with? And I hope that you guys have a great night. Um, you too. Okay. Thank you. There's your Sentai gear. Oh, wow. Thank you. I really like it. Why is there a zero? It's an O for it's orange. It's an O for orange. Caster. Yeah, I have a G for gray caster. I really, oh. really like it. Thank you so much. If Alrighty. I can ever do anything in return for you, Decker, just let me know. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Bye, Emily. Okay, bye. All right. So the Saber Red Sudan, uh, Kenshi Red Sudan episodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I will say these were more interesting because we got good context. So for the Blades one, we got to see the actual fight between him and Zeus. Yeah. Wait, that uh, wasn't... And then, in... they, did, they didn't show the whole fight in the original episode. And then oh. Espada, the Spada one, we just got, like, you know, Kento's real thoughts on what he was thinking about during that time. Also, it's, but, also it's... the Espada one's a huge retcon for the actual episode. How so? Okay, so I look like I looked into it. So the Espada one is essentially him waking up after his battle with Caliber and how he lost, uh -huh. and how he's sort of reflecting on his like reflecting on his situation. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. Until you go back and watch episode thirteen when you know May comes into the room in the in the rest of that episode, where it's like, oh, can you get me a glass of water? Oh, sure comes in with a glass of water realizes he's gone with the camera on the on the bed uh-huh actual episode 13 there's no water she's in a completely different outfit there's no camera so they literally rewrote the scene or he left twice <laughs> there's no way he left twice he just went to go to the bathroom <laughs> That's why he. That's why because of the water. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. Since they're written by two different people here, I have a feeling one hand wasn't telling what the other hand was doing. Seems fair. Um, apparently, I, all, apparently, all four episodes were written by the person that did Common Rider so Shuriken. Or I tweeted. A, I tweeted about this <laughs> earlier. So I was watching the Blades Retsuden. Shinobi. And and yeah, Shinobi. That's it. And May, like, goes over to Ritaro and he's, like, you know, grieving. And she's trying to, like, fucking cheer him up with the Claire's and lottery tickets. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, May, let the man fucking grieve. His friend just died. I mean, yes, but you hey, also can't fault her for trying. Hey, man. If no, some, but. If someone like, knocked on my door and be like, Gar, I have lawn johns. And, like, that's what they're called over here, lawn johns. I would be like, thanks. I'm happy. To Leave no, the box but, and get out. <laughs> no, wait, but wait. that's like spin. Yeah, you can go. No, but that's like if Ichi like dealt with like a really tragic event or something that like really like that really affected them, and I was like Ichi, I got diet Pepsi. Yeah, I always cheers you up, and you just be like, "Fuck you." That's what, that's what Lane tried to do to cheer me up after I saw the new blades form. Yeah, I was like, "Here you go, bud." <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here with caffeine-free Coke Zero right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it, Kelly's mom accidentally got the wrong kind. So. Ew, pop, but uh, so I really like the Espada Retsuden because we get to see some flashbacks from Kento's past, including when he becomes Espada and learning Toma as Saber and deciding to shoulder the burden of his lost memories. Yeah, really nice I, I stuff. still fucking hate that. <laughs> I just find it weird that when it cut to those flashbacks, they were in widescreen. <laughs> which he, which when it just when he, figures me... out, when he figures out everything, then I'll tell him everything. Well, like, I'm just thinking, I'm like, it's a widescreen format. I sort of want to see an entire Kamen Rider movie now in that format. It doesn't look right, <laughs> but I want to see it. Yeah. 
here's here's my question though. This this episode actually brought up something that I don't think they addressed. Um, in one shot during the flashback of the fight 15 years prior to the series, where Kami Joe as Saber fights Fukamiya as Caliber, they clash and then Caliber unhensions and then Fukamiya runs off. And then that, that's when Ogami was like, "Oh yeah, he disappeared, and we didn't hear, we haven't heard a peep from him since." So if Fukamiya ran off after fighting Kamijo, A, is he alive still somehow? And B, how the fuck did Kamijo become Caliber? The only answer I can come up with to that is at some point after that fight, Kamijo found Fukami Fukamiya, killed him, and took Kuriyami. Yeah. Which which we can back up by the fact that he did say that he cut Fukamiya down. Also, I thought it was really funny when, like, as, like, we well, get to see a Kento become a Spada, like from Sophia, and uh, that was a yeah. nice, touching scene. But like, Ogam, like Okami goes to fucking uh, uh, thank him, welcome or whatever, congratulate him for it, and he's like, he's like, well, anyways, I did this because I want to find out why my father betrayed us all. Oh, don't worry about that. Just do your duties. Do you know why he betrayed us? No, but I'm trying to figure that out. I'm like, <laughs> all right, I guess we're having this conversation. <laughs> I'm like, for fuck's sake, Buster. But that was also interesting. So now we find out why Kento became a Spada. He, the only reason he did it was to f find out what happened with his dad. Well, I mean, they do also have good dental. <laughs> sort of Logos oh, yeah. has good insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of Logos just has good, good health insurance, man. They, yep. they put money away for life insurance. No vacation days, though. And, yeah, but you're at, the North, you're at the North Pole. You get to hang out with Santa Claus. <laughs> That's a good question. Like, where is the North Pole compared to Northern Base? I just like to think so. Like Wait a minute. Doesn't Santa Claus live in the North Pole? Oh, yeah, we kidnapped him. We took his house. So This is Santa's like to, village. They moved in. So, I like to think when Rintaro went to go, like, tell Kento that Toma became Saber, he's just like, oh, dude, I'm going to go surprise him later. I'm going to go on a magic carpet. He'll fucking flip, the sh he'll flip his shit. It'll be amazing. Also, on that note... If Rintaro knew that Kento was being a Spada, why was he all like, oh, normal homo sapiens can't be swordsmen? When Kento clearly is one. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't know what homo sapien means. You That's know what? bullshit, because no. in, the, in the Blades episode, we found out he learns a shit ton of stuff like books. I would actually say that kind of checks out because, like, yes, he knows what things are on text, but he has no idea how to apply that to real-world experience. Oh, like a family photo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... But yeah, so then, like, May's just like, oh, yeah, freaking uh, Kento took this picture. It was really funny. And it's actually, like, a really shitty picture. It <laughs> is. It's a shitty picture, but somehow it cheers Rintaro up. How would you feel if, like, you know, you got your ass handed to you. You you can barely walk, but like, I'm gonna take a picture of myself. <laughs> oh, apparently, <laughs> apparently the, the new on. blades form. Apparently, the new blades form is called Kamen Rider Blades Tatagami Hyojo Senki. Hyojo Senki. I thanks. I hate it. <laughs> thanks. I hate it. So it's just <laughs> main ice beast chronicle. Cool. Fucking god! Even the name sucks. So, um, but yeah, so the blades rets it in, which is fifteen point five, as opposed to Espada's being thirteen point five. Well, yeah, because Christmas break. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this one happens after Saber fights Caliber in the Wonder World, chasing after the book. After the end of the first arc, even though it takes, even though some of the flashbacks take place before this. Yeah. So if anything, it should be like you know. After fifteen point five, but it should also say but before three thirteen point five and I and before I seven. Loved in both Resident specials, we got the same shot of Blaze just being like <coughs> just coughing the blood up. I was like, oh my god! Oh, after he got hit by Caliber. Yeah, yeah. we took so, a hit. So Rintaro's sad about Kento's death, and May comes in offering him in eclairs, but he won't even take them. Nope. And may like yes, she may have been a little misguided trying to cheer him up, but the one thing she says that really made me go, now come the fuck on. She just like, how much did you really like him, really? Okay, think of it Fucking this way. Fucking wrong move. No, think of it this way. 
Where was Kenzon? Where was Toma? Where was Buster? Where was any of them? May was the only one that actually went to him to make sure that he was okay. That's, How much yeah, do you think I'm, I'm not others saying, actually not give a shit? No, that's and and yes, May cares because I, they've they've been setting up this ship for a while. And yes, I agree that it's absolutely a dick move that no one else checked in on each other. Yeah, yeah. How much of a dick move is it that, you know, a close friend of ours, you know, who was a part of the Dynamic Six? Uh, they weren't fighting yet because this is after 15 and Psycho didn't debut until 16. Saber Blades is part of Kenzon slash. What? Yeah, there's six of them. No, no, the, what I'm saying is. Oh, I, th- I thought you were saying that they weren't talking because they were fighting each other, but the, the infighting didn't happen until episode 16. No, no, I'm saying that, like, they all didn't talk to each other because, you know, like, you know, they're all the, the, they're the Fantastic Six, but now they're the Dynamic Five, <sighs> and now all of them are, like, sort of bummed out on their own. Kenzon's yeah. probably watching YouTube videos. They're all each on separate roofs. <laughs> Buster's hanging out with his son. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so we get to see flashbacks of, of May and Rintaro hanging out and the, how he won that instant camera and he just like goes into it like, oh, the rare and, and magical technology, instanto camera. And, and this is where they finally, well, I mean, we know this already by now, but because this was forever ago, this is where they tell people that Rintaro was an orphan raised by the guild. Because well, yeah. when that explanation happened in the show, that was episode 16. So technically, this is the first canonical mention of Rintaro having no parents. But, like, so if Rintaro was an orphan raised by the guild for all, for, like, the X amount of time that he spent being an orphan, which is at least 15 years, did, like, Sophia and Master Blades never let Rintaro out to play and learn about the world? For nope. all of his life? Nope. He is the hunchback of Common Rider. That's basically it. They treat him like the fucking hunchback, and there's no reason for it. I'm the one who raised you, feeds you, dressed you. <laughs> I like to think maybe they did that because, like, if he did stuff like that, like, he'd be distracted, and then he couldn't be, like, the best warrior he could be. Oh, and that's apparently worth robbing a child of learning what things are in the world. This isn't the first show to do that. There's been plenty of other movies and stuff. That's the entire fucking Jedi Order in Star Wars. Oh, you want to experience life out there? Uh, No. Yeah, but Lane, the Jedi are pretty dumb. Although, now that I think about who's leading the Sword of Logos right now, that honestly isn't surprising anymore. Oh, friggin' knockoff Palpatine over there? Yeah. Golden Palpatine? Shinken, pa- Shinken Palpatine. Yeah, Shinken Palpatine. So maybe, maybe it was the plan all along to leave Rintaro with no world experience, so that he would be slavishly loyal to the guild. The ultimate soldier. Sure. I mean, I agree. Um, and yeah, May shows Rintaro the photo that Kento left, and the photo sucks, but it cheers Rintaro up, so that's all that matters. <laughs> and and then and then Toma betrays the the logos, and he's like, "Well, can't have that, now, can we?" Like, I, like legit, he got the, he, he just got over Kento's death, and then the whole betrayal thing happens, and then he just gets spiraled back into another wave of depression. Yep. <laughs> Poor Rintaro. Oh, oh, definitely. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm so sad for my blue boy. You know, I gotta definitely say this. He's probably been the most emotional secondary rider we've had. Oh yeah. In a very, very, very long time. You know what? No, <laughs> look, no. looks over, looks over. Comrade or Brave? Yeah, the bar's been pretty low. I'd say, I'd say <laughs> since fucking Bonjo, probably. That's not. No, no. Bonjo wasn't emotional. He, Bonjo was, he was, just he just he was just loud. Yeah, Bonjo was loud. I mean, legit emotional. I mean, fuck. When Rintaro got the photo and sees a photo of Espada there, he legit is in tears because he's like, he thought he would never see like see his face again, but now he has one last thing of Kento, and it's him smiling. Yeah. You know who wasn't emotion you know who wasn't an emotional secondary rider? Fucking brave. That's what I said. I was like, I look look over Commodore Brave, the bar's pretty low. 
I lost oh. my girlfriend. We know. Yeah. Fucking robot. I feel yeah. like uh, ET. I feel like for I feel like Blades was like your second chance from Brave. Yes. Because like you wanted Brave so badly to be your favorite writer of all time, and then you just ended up hating Hero for who he was, and then Rintaro came around. And you're like, that's what I wanted. Exactly. Just get Rintaro with Brave's power set, and there you go. He's a little naive, but he's a good boy. Hey, Rintaro's yes. going up, like, is slowly getting up there as being my all-time favorite secondary rider. Yeah. No, Everyone still up ex- on the blue boy train. Because he's, no, actually, my- cause he's a three-dimensional character. No, my favorite secondary rider will always be G3. G3's best boy. Oh, yeah, him and his... G3 is a whore because he had like five different users. You shut your fucking mouth. Kawa is a fucking straight G3 man. It's a whore. So what about fucking Fize? Every belt in that suit. Fize is also a whore. God, I'm actually upset that you called him a whore. That's so mean. I, lo- no, you know I love G3 the a lot. The B is the real whore. No, the B sucks. No, 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 the B was cool when the other guy came in and be like, here, I'll show you how to do it properly. <laughs> Kicks the worm ass, takes it off. That's how you use it. Tosses it no, back you to know the what? There you user. go. The last emotional sec- good secondary rider we had was fucking Katak. <laughs> Kagami? No, no, no. Even he he can't be the secondary, but the, the last emotional secondary rider because he was the main character of Kamen. <laughs> That's true. Kamen Rider Katak. So yeah, Rintaro is probably the most emotional secondary rider we've ever gotten in history. Yeah. Besides from Ren over there, but then again, Ren's an asshole. Well, I fucking hate <laughs> Ren's my least favorite oh, yeah. secondary. Oh, you shut your horse mouth. No, you know what? I have to admit, Mock is up there too. Knight's a whore. For like S? <laughs> For emotional. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Go's great. I love Go. Yeah. You know what? There's a fit. fuck com- fuck comrade show tier list. Freaking riders themselves tier list. Ooh, <laughs> can we do like a secondary rider month where we talk about like the best episodes from like the best secondary riders? Uh, that would dope. have to be a bit difficult since some of them debut in the first episode. <laughs> Looking at you, Knight and Garen in G three. Hey. Oh, I guess you guys didn't hear my idea. <laughs> no, you're talking about secondary riders. Yeah, I was saying I was saying uh, we should do like a secondary writers month where we talk about like their like best episodes from secondary writers. It's on the docket for extra heroes month where we talk about six ranger debuts and secondary writer debuts. Ooh. Cool. So yeah, those were the residents. Very interesting. These were, these were better than the last ones we watched. Yes, I'll admit they were all right. <laughs> I'll admit the Espada and Blades ones were better. Buster and Slash were pretty cool. Kenzon one felt fucking useless. The Kenzon one existed to give me the Kenzon CG Henshin sequence. That, that was it. it, but it was just. I think it was setting up. Full. I think it was setting up the idea that Ren is going to have some sort of significance later with regards to disaster. But I feel like I, I feel like done I've, more of it. No, I feel like it was su- sowing very subtle seeds. <laughs> Which is why I'm looking forward to next week when we get to see him get his ass kicked by oh, Kenzo. I'm going to watch the Raw be... tomorrow night. Uh, oh, okay. let, let me know how good it is. <laughs> but then again, if you think of it this way... Nope, Ken's on lost me. I, 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 lost, <laughs> my I lost my mind. Oh, no, because yeah. that was the thing. We fucking saw Ken's on when he first debuted and we were like, oh, he's so fucking cool. And then, like, and then just nothing oh, they did nothing with them i remember i remember what i was gonna say all right so ken's on one's only like eight minutes uh-huh but then the espada and blades ones are like 12 minutes each yeah so it's like you can see who they're I mean, favoriting i mean the extra footage was the flashbacks yeah but it was still new footage mm. aside yeah. from the and i think that's why the espada one for me is like better than the rentara one no you know what the rentara one's better now that i know that the entire fight scene with Zuo oh. isn't just stock footage. Oh, yeah. no, Jerry, that's just a given. Date's awesome. Yeah, for, just Kamen <laughs> yeah, Rider birth in general. Date and Goto yeah. are both good. Where's my yeah, renewal figure of them birth? Are goats. Go- yeah. Date and Goto are fucking goats. Totes ma- Toto Magoto. <laughs> Who's your favorite secondary rider in Gaim? Which one is the secondary rider? 
Uh, Baron. I know what you just said. Uh, Baron's like my second favorite secondary writer. I fucking love him. Oh, no, no. Best way to stir up an argument with common writer fans. Who's your favorite secondary writer in Blade? Chalice. Shut your mouth. I act no. I rewatched Blade episode one and two on the Toy Tokusatsu world. I have legitimately no idea why anyone thinks Chalice is the secondary rider because Garen is shown in the first episode fighting a fucking monster. So yes, Chalice did not I show said up this before Garen did. I said this so many times. What is the fucking debate? Oh, Chalice has more character. No, so yeah, do because other third we... riders like Ch Chaser, Ryugen. Necrom. Necrom! Espada. Oh, there you go. Espada's... Espada... Snipe! No. Also a good example. <laughs> the third writers have the present storylines. No, no. I would just love... I'm just thinking about it now in Saber. I would just love to see Espada have a book of just every time he died so that he can keep track of how everything's different. <laughs> so, so it's like... It's like, oh, what if we all work together? Yeah, that was... Three, eight. That was timeline three eight two five. Uh, Fifteen. I swear to God, and 16, that is we like a movie hats. or a show. No, no. I want him to get like this level of neurotic. <clears throat> like he just like looks over at a certain tree. Like, how many leaves are on this tree? Thirty five. Ah, oh, fuck. This is the no. one where we all. <laughs> it's, no, it's this fucking, is the future it's... where we all get smashed in the head. No, 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 no. It's the it's the movie Live Die Repeat with Tom Cruise. Where he keeps dying and repeating the same fucking events over and over again, then he, he just memorizes everything. You mean Edge of Tomorrow? No, it, uh, it was called Edge of Tomorrow, but it got renamed to Live, Die, Repeat, because that's the original name of the thing it's based off of. I compared so, Yes, that was the reason why everyone started complaining about Chalice. Oh. In the 20th anniversary thing, they put Chalice in the second. Well, they're wrong! It's stupid. Oh, yeah, Ibuki. Yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. Ibuki's they're wrong. Thing. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> um... Yeah, so yeah, right, but... Saber's but, great. Uh, I I recommend these, except for the Kenzon one. You can easily just... Unless it turns out that Ren is going to turn evil. Yeah. Oh, fuck no, Garen, Garen's not the third rider. God I it. ignore this! Wait, wait a minute. Hang on. Since when is Mage a tertiary rider? That's stupid. There's no other third rider in Wizard. Exactly, so there shouldn't be one. No, I think I count Mage because there were good mages. Wait a minute. Why you? Drake counts as the third tertiary rider. He, he, he showed up third. He showed up third. Gil, I, I still want to know. Gil's hey, why is Drake and the bee there? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh they're both. Because That's, I guess yeah. attack is the oh, second. Oh, <laughs> didn't have a. Zeranos didn't have a third rider. That doesn't count. Or Denner like, didn't have a third rider. Oh, yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, that, that is stupid. It's like how that Skull's there. It's like, how does Skull work? Because, if anything, Skull was the first, technically. All right, let's... I, I'm tired of this debate. We're not doing this anymore. We're done. Okay. But who do you think's the true third rider? No! Second rider of Fatalade? You go uh, the second. Comrade V3 is the best third rider. <sighs> Hashtag <laughs> change my mind. You know, I don't know who my third favorite third rider favorite third, third rider. favorite third rider? Third favorite third rider. Third rider. I, I, it's Chase. It's Chaser. Alright, well, that is Cast Ranger. Actually, no, no, it's Snipe. Snipe's oh my rider. god. <laughs> Snipe. Right, but again, uh, the rest of the end specials. If you're gonna watch the show in chronological order, make sure you watch these. Yes, these are 0.5 episodes, so watch them after the corresponding episode. Do not. Don't move. wait months like we did. Don't wait months yeah. because I'm an asshole with scheduling. I mean, I watched them when they came out, but that's just me. Yeah. Mr. Saber fan. I've literally been watching the Raw of every episode as soon as it's become available every week since the show debuted. I'm excited. Longer than any other Kamen Rider since I started watching Toku. I'm excited to see what the next Kamen Rider is. I'm me not. too. Because uh, it's it, <laughs> I mean, if Literally, you know, when the current writer is announced, then I'm immediately like, oh, that's cool. I wonder what the next one's going to be. <laughs> I do. No, that's my thought process every <laughs> year. Every year. But but I'm just thinking, like, we're probably, we only have, like, probably 20-ish episodes left of Saber. Yeah. So, like, I am sort of interested to see where the story is going from here. Right, I would love. I would love if Saber was just a solid fifty episodes. That'd be great. Nah, yeah. they're not going to do that. 
I hope so. No, they're they're not gonna do no show goes. But yeah, so... Wizard Wizard got fifty two. Technically fifty four, I think. Okay, no, fifty three. But then again, the last two episodes were to celebrate the fifteenth season of the Heisei era. Decade yeah. showed up like a fucking boss. Gaim showed up. But yeah, so now that the whole primitive dragon thing is solved, we can focus on Kento and his dark prophecy going forward, and I'm very excited to see where the show goes from here. So I guess I, we're in the third act, then? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. And, and again, Zen Kaiser's getting up there, which, like, I, I didn't get to mention it because, you know, Emily and Lane, you, you guys talk over each other a lot. Yep, sorry. Uh, but it does make me question with the whole monster gimmick. It's like, you know, Mushroom World, Ice World... They've captured Sentai's. Is that how we're going to do the tribute episodes for Sentai? I don't know. I, I don't think they have Sentai gears. Oh, yeah, they... because they captured them in the to Tojiro gears. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. But then again, you know, there's 44 of them. How are they going like, to be able to do all of them? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to predict what's going to happen with Caliber. So, Caliber is basically like the Wolzard of, of Ryder, right? Uh-huh. So... They're gonna Kanto's gonna become a spada again because like that needs to happen, obviously. They're gonna find a way to bring back Kanto's dad, and he'll be good. Caliber. He'll be he'll be good caliber, and he'll get like a, his new form as we see, and that's like the red version. So it'll be like Wolzard Fire. Yeah, so, Kamen Rider X Caliber. Calling it now. That's exactly what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a Magic Ranger thing. I can see that happening. Absolutely. Fuck it, we've already ripped off the Sentai. We already I mean, ripped off Sentai. They're owned by the same company, so like, of it's, course they're gonna share it's, ideas. It's still ripping off each other. Hey, if it <laughs> works, they, they they're allowed to. They're allowed to. Is there anything each other. truly original anymore? Uh, Creation Soldier Arc Man. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's, you just, it's my uh, Tokusatsu uh, show. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Which someone just listened in on that, and now they took it, and now they're already making it a thing. Yep. Jokes on them, that's the English title. They haven't heard the Japanese title. Ooh, well, thank you. Probably easily translate it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn that's you, Google go Translate! Oh, sorry, that's why every time we talk about Arkman on Cast Stranger, I don't refer to it by its name because I want to, you know, keep it protected for your sake. Well, it's a temp name. It's not like it's going to be, like, it's the a working title. Like, the finalized working title name. Mm. Anyways, Chikai Radio Sentai Kasurin Ja. On the docket next week, since it's middle April, apparently. Uh, I decided to ease us into it because I couldn't really think of... Uh, I didn't want to put Ultraman in middle April, so I squeezed middle April down to three weeks. So, but since it's going to match the theme, we're going to talk about two more episodes of Samurai Flamenco. Hooray. Episodes 9 and 10 which will actually end the first major storyline of Samurai Flamenco. Please, please, please try to get Raven to be on next week. Oh, but I will definitely say this. If you're squeamish, just be, be careful aware. when you watch episode 10. Oh, God. Uh, I'm usually not. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty good when it comes to gore, so... It, it's like... I mean, we already had a gorilla shove a dude into his guillotine chest. This is more d disturbing. Excellent. That's why I don't remember it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> like, we'll literally, I'm in danger. You know what? We'll literally put a content warning thing on the freaking Samurai Flamenco thing as we <laughs> talk about it. Which, again, is why I want Raven to be here for it. So. Oh, please. It's Easter next weekend. Raven's going to be family stuff. Which means Good Friday, and I'll be off work that day. Oh yeah! Woo. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, that has been Cast Ranger. Thank you all, everyone, for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. And remember, stay Sentai. <laughs> and remember, kill Sentai. No. Remember, watch watch Ultra Ranger. <laughs> or don't watch Ultra Ranger. I'm not your no, mom. No, watch Ultra Ranger. Yeah, but we're already like we're halfway through two shows. You think people are gonna catch up on those two shows? He's trying to use reverse psychology. Yes. I believe they can. <laughs> you have the power. Um, as usual, the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find our Facebook page where I post thumbnails, our Twitter account, 
our Discord server where you can chat with all these cool people here and listen live to our recordings Friday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, our merch yep. store where you can buy shirts, office supplies, hoodies, masks, what have you, with our emblems. Uh, our Patreon where you can pledge to help us make the show better. Do we sell check baseball out, hats? Check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Robolane. You'll just have to go to the merch store and find out because I don't know. <laughs> can I buy diapers with the Cash Ranger logo on them? <laughs> Uh, Jerry, if you want to be on an episode, if you subs- if you subscribe to the po- to the Patreon, that increases your chances. We still need to update the Patreon. Yeah, we need to update Patreon. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all once again, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.